Like a moth to a flame, it pulls us in. Next thing we know, we're in a now bear's den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I'll go. And hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this evening's Heroes of the Plains. We're here with this fantastic cast yet again, and we are going to embark on more adventure. We've got some sponsors tonight that I'm going to run through. First of all, returning idol champions of the Forgotten Realms. Awesome, awesome game. There are red pandas all over this game now. And uh, there's like a Freely, there's a Lindra, and there's a Briv. Briv is wearing a ridiculous outfit that was, um, you know, kind of chosen by me. So, and you know what I have to say about that? You're welcome. Was fr from the uh, twisted mind of uh, Dungeon Master B. Day Walters uh, during a recent, uh, you know, series and, and that voted we did. By, and by the audience. Yes, it was like, yeah, it was incredible. And so, and there was there's artwork by Luke McKay out there all over the place of red pandas, and uh, I think there are like wieners and uh, unicycles and just all kinds of things. <laughs> Look it up. It's really, really great. So Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, there's an Electrum uh, chess code that you can grab on screen or in chat. Google oh, all like, of those things but one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> might, I right. might I recommend sausage links? <laughs> that might work. That, Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, so moving on, we also have incredible sponsor uh, that we've had for, I think, a couple of weeks now. Hero Forge, they make fine uh miniatures and especially these new color printed miniatures that they have that are absolutely incredible i have several i have more of them than i should here in my humble abode and oh. i i love what is going on with hero forge and so tonight you're going to have the opportunity to win a 75 dollars gift card on the Hero Forge site. So you win that, you can spend that $75 any way that you please there for Hero Forge. You can get uh, the 3D model files that you can download and print yourself if you happen to have a 3D printer at home. I'm getting one, by the way, because it's super, super good for cosplay. But um, if you happen to have one of those, you can do that. You can also get the color miniatures that are pre-printed with that color in there. Uh, on that, you have the other miniatures that they've had for several years that you can uh, get uh, delivered to your home and you can paint them yourself. So, uh, so many options at Hero Forge. Look at chat for the way to win that about an hour into the show. And then finally, we have Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. And you'll be hearing Sirenscape throughout the evening. And you've been hearing that throughout our campaign. I think that that is everybody. Todd, over to you. And fear the deer. I have no idea what that means. It's probably a sports ball thing. Uh, and you should fear the deer. Deers are terrifying. And they're they angry. They really are. They're super angry. So, previously on Heroes of the Plains, uh, well, you met up with a Warforged named Wyatt. Yeah, you met with Wyatt and you found out several of his siblings had, in fact, died and haunted him. And he regularly spoke to them. You found the corpses of those Warforged as well, but since, since some type of... Uh, lingering element to those warforts, another entity had been possessing them. This led you slowly uh, through some great tracking. Uh, after being shot at by Briv Steel Marrow, you found yourselves in the face of an illusion where there should not have been a cannery at a large set of stairs leading down to the ocean. You went down to that cannery, you passed through the illusion, and then you discovered a very nefarious organization that was 
basically trying to take souls and researching putting souls into different bodies, either flesh golems or iron golems or statues or different objects. But they were specifically targeting Warforged and shoving the souls of ghosts from around Mordent into those Warforged in exchange for those ghosts, leading them to their hidden treasures, to heirlooms of their families, so they could accumulate wealth and magical items with the promise of leaving Ravenloft or leaving Mordent itself. But it appears that none of those attempts were actually successful. You did learn that Count Strahd von Sarovich was in communication with this particular creature that was a brain in a jar on a mechanical body and was trying to figure out how to transfer souls. From those notes, you could, you could tell, and from your previous experience with a device called the Apparatus, this has been an obsession of Strahd's for a very, very long time. Transferring either souls or creating new versions of yourself from another dimension or splitting someone in half in some way. This has kind of been an ongoing theme of bizarre alchemy, magic, and scientific research. Wyatt is now, after killing the person who killed his brothers, his siblings, uh, has moved on. He immediately lost interest in what everyone was doing the second he got his revenge, and you've accumulated a great deal of magical items, as well as 2,500 gold pieces. Uh, freely, you went off on your own, as you do, uh, to investigate things, to research stuff. But you, the entire time, had a psychic link with the rest of the group. You had been informed that there is an illusion, and as the, the heroes without you, which is deeply insulting, uh, we're fighting off a nemesis, the boss fight. You are making your way down the stairs as you heard gunshots ring out. And then you saw a rather cowboy-looking warforged walk past you on the steps. And you are yourself entering this cannery at this very moment. And you see the Heroes of the Vale uh, in a very ramshackle place with lots of uh, unmoving dead warforged just standing what is everyone doing uh you guys i was gone like an hour oh they got you back you missed a lot <laughs> are, are we still like all standing over the the box with the box? The, well, yeah. you collapsed, yes, you right oh yes, yeah i'm okay am i am still I collapsed or have i gotten back up again uh, i will say that you've gone back up again okay ah uh, really hi um, it was a really busy amount of time. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come, I come here. I freely to make sure it's actually him. Yep. Ah, green flame. <laughs> Turn on the green flame. I, I know it's strange him. tendrils. Uh, or anything odd. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, might yeah, be no, you. No, no, you, look, you? No, look, part the hair, part the hair. Look, look, look carefully. Mm, yeah. I might be getting up to go mm -hmm. hug him with the pretense of also like uh, slightly checking him out to make sure he is okay and he is himself. <laughs> Oh, says, one, one, moment, one moment, one moment, one moment. All right. And then he freely, can you hear me? I'm trying to be a ventriloquist. Can that's you Adam hear me? Adam. And... I, are you my conscience? <laughs> oh, God. I, I am thine conscience. Why does my conscience talk like Briv? But okay, that makes sense. I've been around him a lot. No, he's a good example. Hey, conscience. I okay. It's freely. It's actually him. <laughs> I would have gone. You should have been his self restraint. <laughs> <laughs> no, that even I wouldn't have believed. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> hey, where'd uh, you go? Well, good news, bad news. Uh, good news. I found a clue. There's a guy. Um. But uh, we're going to be able to go talk to him, and everything's going to be um, okay. The bad uh, Could you be a bit is... more specific? Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I kind of was skimping on the details. Um, but he's at an inn in Mordenshire. Um, bad news. Apparently it's crawling with hostiles, but we're not supposed to act hostile, and I've been promised that everybody will be able to leave safely, which is weird, but, you know... 
So when we go in there, we shouldn't be ourselves. Well, more accurately, Briv, Penelope, and I should not be ourselves. Well, actually, also Orkira, you also. So actually, Alindra, you don't change. The rest really? of us do the like what Alindra does. I heard does. they were like hunting magic minutes? users here, so I think we were all perhaps in a bit of trouble for that. I mean, listen, if it's going to take less than 10 minutes, thou shouldst just put me in the bag of holding to ensure that the plan goes off without a hitch. It, it's just, we're, we're, it's diplomatic mission. Diplomatic mission. Oh, and I'm see. good at diplomacy. Oh. What kind of hostels are you talking about? What's that word? Um, ever, um, you know, when they're like not from here, um, but we're not. Aberrations. Right. Aberrations, wait. But are we not the aberrations in Ravenloft? Yeah, we are. That's we don't belong here. We're not from here. We are... I suppose we are unnatural to this region. Uh, but, yeah, apparently can help us find the blade that we are here to locate and hopefully clear out of here. Because I got to tell you, this is beginning to damage even my legendary optimism. This place is creepy. Agreed. Um, who is this person that's going to help us and why are they helping us? Dungeon Master. <laughs> Uh, you were informed through your various contacts that you still remembered uh, that someone has been looking for you and that someone wanted to make contact with you and you were slipped a note. And this note was very specific. Expect aberrations. Don't do anything rash. I, I, I would have verified whether or not there was tentacles involved in the note lever, like, uh, to, to my people. Are we... Are we... Are we are we, uh, are, 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 are we dealing with exiles here? Is, is, is this is this my sense? Uh, you 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 get the five tentacles maybe involved. Ah! <laughs> hey, wait, you guys. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. All right. So I wasn't I wasn't processing this properly because I was just excited. Um. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. So. So you know how like mind players are like an existential terror and like they're really like our eternal enemies and they're kind of trying to draw me back into the collective and I don't want that, right? And also they don't taste very good. How do you know that? She was like tasting one when we first got on story. That's a different story. What? Okay, it, it, yeah. It was it was dead. I don't I don't mind fighting them, but I don't, I don't want to eat them. But uh, it is possible. It is possible on occasion they break out of the collective just like I did. Like, not every Mind Flayer is connected to an Elder Brain, just like most uh, Mind Flayers are collected to an Elder Brain. So we're going to go to this town and there's going to be Mind Flayers and we should not kill them. Uh, we're going to this town and there's going to be aberrations, which we should probably you... assume are going to be Mind Flayers, but how, we're not supposed how, to kill them. How would one tell the difference between those that are connected or allied with those that are connected? And those that are not. Um, they don't all talk at the same time. They don't have that, like, 9,000 part harmony thing the other Mind Flayers have. Um, and they probably won't try and eat our brains or enslave us instantly. Probably. Probably. Uh, and, and you're certain they're not allied? with those, and this isn't <laughs> Certain is strong. Certain is strong. Um, but here's what I know. Here's what I know. Let's give it a chance. You know, nothing has ever gone wrong with us just absolutely trusting someone at their word. And if they try something, then Penelope will Penelope you. So we, we did find these various, um, various items. Perhaps there's something useful Ooh. here. Oh, for that. well, this is some neat stuff. This portion, um, I mean, I did, this... li I did literally so nothing we, to earn any of this, we so I did I mean, identify I, I... everything, correct? Correct. Um, I mean, should should we start with the thing that was in Freely's vision that apparently I just had a vision about too? Can we start with that because that seems important? The sword. No, 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 no. And I'll point to the Amulet of Ravenkind, which I'm assuming is still in a box being held by a, a, a mage hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, didn't you say we were looking for something like this? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey. 
Although, again, I defer to you, Dungeon Master, of what Freely knows, because what he knows and what I know are two very different things. Oh, you're very, very aware of it. Uh, okay. Uh, Keepers of the Feather. Keepers of the Feather. Um, they're, they're friends. They're trying to make... They flock together? Uh, they're... they're uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, they're, uh, were ravens, and they're trying to make Barovia, and by extension, all of these realms, less terrible. They don't like Strahd. Do they know where wolves, though? Because, I mean, I would ask them to bite me, peck me? What does a raven do? But I, I would prefer the wolf, I think. I, I don't, I mean, you could fly if you're a raven. That's cool. No. I mean, flying is kind of cool. Flying's kind of, I mean, I just, I wouldn't know. You know, I have decorative wings, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. We you. Know. We're that, working on it. This, we are. I got it. I got it. It's going to take time. Yeah. They're not yeah. mutually exclusive. <laughs> they can be decorative and I, I mean, they're very pretty. I mean, that maybe that's the thing. They're so pretty that they have to start just pretty and then become useful. Oh, like butterfly wings. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just appreciate that as a demigod, I'm attractive and superfluous, which is an odd commentary on the nature of my being really but uh they, you know and that's probably the there. organized religion as well we, it may, so i think maybe let's go talk to this dude uh dude presumably i don't know um you know um elithids the gender's weird but um you know let's go talk to them and and you know just see what's up and then maybe you can use some of these new toys uh if it goes poorly which it won't it's not going to this time's gonna be fine so you did say that that these people are, are clerics correct the uh, the keepers of the feather. Yes. Uh, not not all of them. It's 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 an organization, but um, they're they're more uh surveillance, and mm. you know they intervene, but they try to like intervene at a distance. Like they don't really just like show up and like ah just like stab people. Like not really. I mean, I guess they can, but they're more like eyes in the dark type information just... network. Yeah. I mean, at least that was my experience with them. So, what does this little trinket do? I don't think it does anything. So do I, do I, do, have I been able to identify these items, Todd? You have Or Yes. I have, I have, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I will uh, explain what it does. Uh, uh, it's, it's a, it's a symbol. Um, you're, you're talking about the, this one, correct? The shiny one, yes. Well, yeah. Several yeah. of these are shiny, but. The, the one specifically that Freely and had the vision about. I feel like if, if it's sword and that thing, like yes, that's probably um, important. It, it seems that it, it, it opposes the undead. It, it aids in, in, in uh, protection from the undead. It, it allows you to, uh, it, it's limited in its power, but it, it, does, it does recharge itself uh, in time. And it, it, can, uh, it can help uh, hold uh, the undead, specifically vampires, in place, uh, as well as as amplifying um, uh, abilities of of turning undead away and causing them to to flee and uh, uh, creating sunlight as well. Sounds pretty useful. Yeah, yeah it does I mean, seem we're gonna be fighting be a vampire. That seems that quite useful. You know, Akira, yeah. that very much seems like you know your sort of wheelhouse. I think. Maybe, but I can already do all that stuff. Should someone else take that? And then there's two of us that can do all that. Uh, you need to be able to turn undead in order to use the, some of the abilities of this. So oh, oh, I can do that. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, give it a break. Actually, yeah. let me take inventory of myself and verify that I am telling thee the truth. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 work, I'm working on it. I'm not quite there. Like, I mean, when I want to turn them, I have to like turn them. I mean, also, physically. I can certainly yeah. turn undead right. when I charge at them. Yes. Most of the time they flee. But that's perhaps not that's been not what our, we meant. our experience. No. Okay. But okay, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. They, they literally were like walking into, like bumping into our accommodating abode like last night. That just happened. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's yeah, all right. That's true. I was not... trying. Valid. Uh, th yeah. Um,. What what god is that holy symbol related to? 
Uh, no, I can't turn undead unless I do it the old-fashioned way that I was talking about. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's it's you know they're they're not they're not a religious order. I mean, I, I think a lot of them probably worship Ezra, but it, it's they're more bound Ezra? by the cause. Uh, Ezra, goddess oh. of the myths. Uh, that there was a, a paladin uh, named Ludana. I am better than Ezra. It seems to be. To Thank be, you all uh, for tuning in. That's a show. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Yeah, heroes of the plains. Most people are. <laughs> Poor Ezra. I'm just gonna wait for Adam to start singing now. Come on, give yeah. give us a song. L- legally <laughs> distinct. Better than Ezra. <laughs> legally distinct. Yep. Legally distinct, Ezra. <laughs> Lots of D- DCMA uh, notifications. There's an S in like there. It's E S Z R A. Wait, I thought I heard about a brother Uriah when we were passing through here. Is that that what we're talking about? Uh, oh, that guy. That guy's a legend. Oh, whoa. Brother Uriah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean butter Uriah. No, no. That, <laughs> butter that, guy, <laughs> that guy can turn undead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly because well, I mean, if I'm the only one who can use it, I'll take it. Uh, I feel a little bad. It seems to be the magic of a, of a cleric or a paladin. Perhaps. I feel a little yes. bad because I'm going to be even more awesome now. And so. Yeah, I'll very take humble. It. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I'm very why, humble. Why, why dost thou need to be oh, wow. so mean to me? Is that like when your mom uses Most your of the name? words are the same, yes. How <laughs> did you get it right? I mean, I was doing my best, but mimicry is not one of my skills. <laughs> It's true. I bet the, the were ravens, ravens could okay, do right. that. No, they could. They could do it. That that is true. Yeah. Well, uh, when you get pet by one, then you'll have a new skill, bro. It'll be exciting. Uh, so uh, what happens? What happens when you become a were raven? You just become adept at mimicry. I don't know so. what happens when you're in the shade of fell. Oh. Yep. oh. Mm. Boo. No. Mm. That's uh, just ability damage. Who's Will that power. on the line that keeps making like <laughs> uh, disparaging remarks? Is that somebody like throwing their voice or it's, something? It's just this place. There's just <laughs> literal shades flying overhead, throwing shade. Ghost. Yes, yeah, some shade. Um, is uh, is it possible that we could talk about this while we're moving? Because I, I don't know how long whatever yes, is waiting for us will wait for us. Um, just one last thing before we go. Can anyone detect curses on these items? to ensure that we aren't taking things. Also, if there are name tags, if they belong to someone and need to be returned. Uh, uh, fun I fact, to I can make a curse. I cannot remove a curse. I can remove a curse, but I can't detect a curse. Between Freely and I, we've got both bookends. <laughs> I can also remove a curse, but I cannot detect a curse. Well, that means Penelope? we got nothing to worry about if we get cursed. There you go. Is there even a spell to detect curses? Uh, th- there I, is. I, I just oh. like grab things and, you know, apparently I just hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a very good way to detect them. I yeah. Can only do it well once, with though. Through the years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Penelope, do you, do you have that? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, do we want. <laughs> I just appreciate almost all of us could and just none of us can. Like, never occurred. The lives we've led never occurred. <laughs> um, so, I can remove curses, but if we're worried about any of these being cursed, do we want to wait until later to um, attune to them? Because uh, I used up a lot of my energy making sure nobody dies here. Probably worth the wait. I think, but you know. Because you figure if something's cursed here, that's got to be like double curse, right? Incredible. It's got to be yeah. that. Yeah. Do we need to lightly walk like we are restfully walking, <laughs> or do we need to uh, stay in like, a little abode? I guess like a sleepwalk. Sleep? I will say, uh, freely, you can meet your guest in eight hours. Eight hours? Yes, that you is all time rest time for before you meet. Oh, yeah. got it, right. Uh, I'm, a, I'm I, all like, hey, it's almost like they've foreseen this moment. Weird. One sleep until death. I mean, yeah. I'll I'll still end up, like, death warding everybody. So I'll still be at a detriment. But it's up to it's up to all of us whether we want to 
do a full mm -hmm. long rest. Yes. I'm okay. Oh, we're not okay. okay. No, I'm not okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have like 26 rest. hit points left. Yep. We right. can rest. Yep. All right. Where do you rest? Do you rest in the cannery? I feel like we need to bust out the accommodating abode again. Do we not? Oh, I prefer accommodations. <laughs> Yeah, Lindra, can you can you bubble us? Lindra, can you do the bubble? That Absolutely. is dine. Okay, cool. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if that's the case, I, I can remove one curse before tomorrow. Do we want to start checking things for curses? Uh, it, it does appear. Um, I, I apologize. I've been uh, reconsidering and consulting my books. It does not appear that that is something that people do anymore. Uh, in that traditional way of, of casting a spell to detect. So because the best way to do it is just grab it and think really through hard. identification. Oh. The old-fashioned way. It, with the identify. Yes, yeah, since, since you it, did it, identification, you did determine, and, and after another kind of glance over them, uh, they are not, in fact, cursed in any way. You do not find any name Excellent. tags. You don't find any laundry receipts of any kind. Um, so you don't know who to return these items to. Uh, they are a moralistically clean loot. Excellent. Uh, I will spend a moment <laughs> and shove all the soul coins into... Uh, uh, does someone have a... I got the haversack, but it doesn't hold I have a bag of holding. Okay, and I'll shove all the soul coins into the bag of holding for later... A releasing of souls in a place and where they can go somewhere. For later motorcycle rides on the beach. Is that a thing? Um, I just remember so. touching it and releasing them. Do you have to... I think okay. that thou canst use them as fuel to power your like, you, you know, soul of... draining machines. Yes, yeah. but I think, yeah, you can, but I, I was just thinking when we get out of here releasing the souls? Oh, that's a better option than using them as petroleum. I agree. I didn't realize that was an option. It is. Remember, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> but I, I have don't no do recollection of that. Ah, it's okay. That's what I do, because <laughs> I remember things. Um, But I don't want to do it here, because I'm assuming if I do it here, I'm not really releasing a soul. I'm just sticking a soul in this place, right? Mm. One prison to another. Yeah. That seems like crap. Whittle makes a mental note that uh, these souls can create petroleum as a byproduct for her machines back home. <laughs> <laughs> She's just laying down with her journal, writing something down, popping in new lenses, preparing a crown of stars. As she prepares to take a long rest, she goes back to her max hit points. Yay! All right, uh, Everyone gets guess, a long rest. I guess I am going to attune to the holy symbol of Ravenkind. All right. Who all is attuning to what? Uh, equipment. Ooh, Whittle's going to pop back up and say, Hey, hey, Freely, since the last time you saw me, do I look any more buff? Uh, does she? Because she was super carved up last time I saw her. Yeah, she's super carved up now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, you're starting to get calves like Briv. Wow. What are you even, doing? I don't even work out. This is just how I woke up. Uh, <laughs> she's, uh, Scoff. Ooh. That, there's a... Is that a cloak? That's a, that's a lot of vascularity going there. There are a number of... There's a cloak, there's a robe, um, there's a ring. There are these pipes, which I can't play, but I don't know. Freely, you play What do the pipes do? Uh, they seem to control swarms of rats. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? No, that's 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 my associate over here. I mean, I, I I chat with the rats, but that very much seems like a Penelope uh, Penelope half pint jam there. Penelope, do you play do you play uh, these this type of um, these pan pipes? I don't know, but we could try. I think that the Penelope pipes is a wonderful <laughs> idea. Except Big fan of the Penelope pipes. I mean, frankly, she can make friends with rats even without them. So with pet pipes, like, I, I think she's going to make friends with every rat in this entire realm. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. 
<laughs> you are. And I hand you the 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 uh, pipes. Am I getting anything? Beautiful. <laughs> Well, you are on a cannery on the side of the ocean. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, so, there's mad rats in a cannery. Let's be honest. They there's a every rat. <laughs> Millions of peaches. As <laughs> just peaches a free. swarm of rats immediately come up to Penelope. Are we in the abode? Yeah, they're yeah. circling the abode. Are they they're circling, circling the, the abode. So now there's just this swirling mass of rats just going around and around in a circle. Protecting the abode. Uh, okay, can I, can I, Linda, Linda, can I go play? Penelope, we will <laughs> never run it's out of food like this way. <sighs> I'm just saying, if we were starving in the middle of a desert, thou canst pull out Penelope pipes and bring the food straight to us. Briv. <laughs> Penelope, do you go play with the rats? Does Alan just say it's okay? I say it's your decision. It's your life. Okay, 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 okay. Penelope will wild shape into a rat and get lost in the crowd. <laughs> okay. Uh, Does anyone while, see where Penelope went? <laughs> while Penelope turns into a rat and participates in a rat rave um, <laughs> outside the accommodating boat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody cheese. Somebody uh, screech. <laughs> so, somebody screech. Uh, you all get a very well deserved long rest. Let me know. Anyone else? Is anyone attuning to the cloak of the bat? Is anyone attuning to the cloak of many eyes? Robe of yeah. eyes, I should say. Yeah. Whittle sees the cloak and says that I, w I wonder if this is going to fit me with how buff I am now. And she tries to fit it around her neck. What happened? Uh, it's got a very high collar, dramatically so. <laughs> it's just that's, that's a very cliche. Yeah, <laughs> extra starch. It's red underneath. The in, the lining is red, and it just kind of flows around you, uh, and kind of feels Ooh. like the skin of a giant bat. You can even see the veins in between it, and you get the sense. Uh, Alindra, do you want to explain what it does? Since you're the one who identified it. Uh, Yes, except I just close the page. Give me one moment, please. Uh, Elinda is looking through her notes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, there were just so many new things I was trying to learn about. And... Time travel devices. Um... <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so this this would allow you, 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 you seem to slip more into the shadows. You have uh, your dexterity is improved for stealth checks. Yes. Um, if you are in darkness or dim light, you are able to grip onto the edges of the cloak and use it to fly at 40, spe 40 feet speed. Um, if you ever fail to grip both edges of the cloak, you uh, lose the, the flying speed. Um, you also can change yourself into a bat uh, <gasps> once a day. Oh. Dang. So, Is it still nighttime? It's always nighttime. Or did nighttime we just here. wake up? Yeah, it's night. Yes! I want to try it! I want to try it! And she's going to grip both sides of the cape and go, BAT! <laughs> All Just right. before she does, I death ward her. <laughs> Since uh, it's the morning. I, mean, I got to do it to everybody anyway. Well, so, it's like right. Penelope runs out of the accommodating boat, turns into a rat, joins the swarm of rats, and then all of a sudden you see Whittle turn into a bat and just start going around, <laughs> and around bat, the cannery. As a bat, I see all these rats. What? Do bats like rats? Uh, well, you, re you retain your own mental stats. Yeah. <laughs> well, for your bat rat situation, uh, for your bat rat spat, uh, <laughs> you retain your own stats. Just for funsies, I want to see if I can pick a rat up. Ooh, roll a d100. One of them will be me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, roll a d100. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll say 50 will be Penelope. 59. Oh, uh, no, no. Close. <laughs> you, you grab a rat that you think is Penelope. <laughs> and then wow. Penelope's like waving, like <laughs> with little rat hands. <laughs> but there's so many of them that like a tail makes it into my little bat mouth before her little bat <laughs> or rat hands do. <laughs> All right, you fly off with a rat. 
<laughs> the bat has flown off with a rat. <laughs> Anyone else doing something upsetting and converting so, into another creature? This. We have did this the, still left uh, the robe of eyes, which I, I can use. It'll extend my, my vision. Not or, I, or I'm happy to share. Um, and there's also the, the manual of iron golems. Oh, that certainly is an. And then we have uh, the soul <laughs> coins all went to Okira. So. Does the manual of golems have pictures? <laughs> it does. That belongs not, to me. Not right? super exciting. They're not in like, like yeah. No, oh. I mean they're they're somewhat epic poses, but it's, it's not, like not sequential story. art. No, it's a bit like you know trying to That's teach yourself trash just like that robe is. So there you go. <laughs> Um, you you need to be a, a, a able to use magic, fairly high level magic. I use magic all the time. Fair enough. My very uh, existence is magical. This is true. You are quite a magical being, Griff. Um, it does require a certain degree of experience with magic and a certain level of knowledge. Say a, a couple of fifth level of knowledge. Um, two two of those. It doesn't steps. have pictures, so I'm not interested. <laughs> no, I mean again. I don't know what you're talking about, this whole wizard school. Like, some of us can just do stuff, and, I, like, the green flame blade lights up. It just happens. I don't know. I want it, and it happens. We there don't need to that... learn I don't, things. I, I don't even I mean, write anything down. It, it, it <laughs> I mean, doesn't specify freely, that you need to have book learning on it. Literally but. freely, as a baby, green flame blade his rattle at one point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. time my hair got like this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh... <laughs> Inquiring minds wanted to know. It's true. There you go. Plot twist. I didn't know I wanted to know that. <laughs> I'm gonna come up to Alindra. Uh, maybe it's um, that's something we can just put in the bag and have. Yes, for it, it takes trades for later. It takes about uh, several months to 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 work this process, so we can save it for later. Certainly. Uh, this entire time, Will, uh, for some reason, uh, you hear a song that sounds like Cry Little Sister, uh, Thou Shall Not Fall, as you are, like, flying around outside of the cannery. <laughs> Thou shall not fall. And I'm yeah. just super emo with this rat in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> are you eating the rats? No, I have no okay. interest in eating the rat. You're just scaring the not crap yet. out of the rat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to take it for a ride. She thinks it's Penelope? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm not... show you the legally distinct world. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think out of fear that it could be Penelope or Penelope wants to make friends with it, I will not eat this rat. I will just take it for a ride. All right. The rat at first is very that. terrified and shaking, and then it just kind of embraces it and spreads out its little tiny paw. <laughs> Maybe it's it like always Titanic, wanted to be a bat. But with a bat and a rat. Yeah. Aww. It's just like that. <laughs> I mean, arguably, arguably, Rose was a little homicidal at the end, so... We yeah, need not? fan art of everything that just happened in the last 30 minutes. <laughs> fan art? I want to play that game. I want to play the bat and the rat, and the. I need that as a whole side quest. The bat, rat's fat. Exactly. I love that. Oh, oh, rat's just death rat. warning rat's everybody. Fat. Splat? Hmm. No, no splat. No, 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 no. That's, that's why I'm doing this, and I'm death warding everybody again since it's been no, eight no. hours, so refreshing everybody's death wards. Even me? Even you. Mm. <laughs> Very well. Yep. No no uh hero left behind. Um, and so Huzzah. we have also this this ring which allows us to tell whether someone is lying. <gasps> um, so we have this robe and this ring. I, I think Briv wants yeah. that ring. Everyone uh, always yeah. lies to me. And I think you should have the robe. I mean I think it's pretty much here for you though. It's it's Absolutely. I, I can already detect most of the things that it tells me, but I'm certainly happy to extend those abilities further if no one else needs it. Go for it. All right. And then, Brave, you're taking the ring? I don't know. Does anyone else get lied to as frequently as I get <laughs> lied to? I mean, technically all of us, so I think if you know, uh, we'll know. Oh. I will take it if no one else is. Everyone else got something except me. I th I think you should take it, Briv. Very well. I'll take it. As you hear a squeak, squeak, squeak from above you. 
through the muffled mouth of a bat that has a rat inside of it. Um, I think Whittle is turning back now with the rat. Um, and she casts, she casts Featherfall on the rat and then throws it back into the... What do, what do you call a group of rats? Uh, Oncoming a rat horde. Swarm? A swarm? They're just called swarms. I don't swarm? know if they have an official term. Yeah. Yeah. So a group of cast... rats is called a mischief. A mischief. Yes. Of rats. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love so she, uh, it. Yeah, <laughs> Featherfall and drops this yes. rat, who she feels very bonded with, back into the mischief. Is it in freezing water? I love rats and fantasy so much. I hate rats in real life. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, nothing will make your skin crawl quite like a rat. Or a swarm of them. <laughs> that, I think they're adorable. Uh, that breaks yeah. your mind Actually, once you see it outside your house. A rat by itself is pretty cute, but yeah, like a swarm of them. Nope. No good. Nope. You can see that. Nope. Okay, so everyone got a long rest. Everyone's you literally played an Osferatu. That's all I have to say. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I know, I know. I'm still paying for it. <laughs> One year later. <laughs> Remember that time you were that trash person? <laughs> <laughs> that one time <laughs> that one time that one, one time yeah <laughs> not m multiversally yes no, no, yeah 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 i've tainted every every role-playing system so uh, <laughs> all right so uh, the uh the sun is rising now uh as as you have all attuned um well as much as the sun rises it's almost like perpetually dim here do I, do I get a sense that it's weird that I've attuned now to two holy symbols? Like, is, is the phoenix okay with this? <laughs> yeah, you don't find anything offensive by it, but this is the first time you run into a holy symbol that is not associated with a god in any way. And so this is your first kind of introduction for you personally, that not everything has to be connected to a deity to be holy. Though, then I, again, paladins are a stark I mean, example of I that. Yeah, I mean, I, I hang out with... Literally. I hang out with literally two paladins who don't care about gods, so, though. But you're right that, like, I mean, I care about us. Yeah. yeah. I care about the both of you a lot. Yes. I'm just saying, we're all gods, or at least demi gods. So, accurate. Listen, there's only, in this case, I just want to make sure that the one that I pray to isn't upset that I've got, like, raven stuff. The Phoenix is not vengeful. Uh, um, except for when the phoenix for takes destroying off. worlds or not usually no not but you know it's just a hobby it was dalliance you know that whole resurrection destruction <laughs> thing the destruction is not necessarily with anger no it's with a oh, terrible amount of ambivalence to be completely honest <laughs> and a little bit of empathy which is also kind of creepy okay um really <laughs> <laughs> really? You want to lead the way to wherever we're supposed to go? Absolutely. Can do. Yep. All right, and, you, I, you, and I attempt to do so. You lead them uh, up a very large cliff. You hear the sound of the ocean waves smashing against the cliffs and you smell the, the salt air. It almost smells like freedom. Uh, but there is a heaviness to Mordent. And you will under a constant, constantly see spirits and ghosts from all around you now. You are ever pre ever aware of the presence of the dead. Some lingering figures that um, are still intelligent and still have emotions. Some that are on their way out, that have faded, that have become mere wisps of themselves. Uh, nearly all of them filled with rage and anger and hate. You make your way up the city on the cliff of Mordenshire, something very familiar to Freely, and also familiar to all of you. As you can see in the distance across from Mordenshire, Griffin Hill, the very place where you encountered the apparatus yes. many years ago. Yes. You have been in Mordenshire as well before. This is not an unfamiliar town, but you had never explored outside of Mordenshire. And you start walking across the slippery cobblestone streets and the somewhat warped and twisted buildings as slowly the city has settled over and over again into the ground of this cliff. And you find yourselves at uh, Freely. You lead them to an inn on a very familiar alleyway. 
where you first met freely. Divine sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that there's... That was in the Shadowfell, wasn't it? It was? Nope. It, it, it was in Ravenloft, though. Which is yeah, in the yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Undead yeah. Celestials, Fey Fiends, are unhallowed. Unhallowed ground, by the way. I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing undead, but you didn't say aberrations. Uh, aberrations do not come up on Divine Sense. The rangers can find them. Paladins cannot. I, I'm okay with that. Because <laughs> yep. aberrations are hard. I feel like they're hard to track down. <laughs> yep. Being what they are. Uh, uh, I just I just turn and I say, well, good news, everyone. There's no undead. I mean, you know, besides, and I just motion at the ambient ghosts. The ambient ghosts do, uh, boy, that's a creepy <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> a lot of, they do seem to be kind of keeping their distance from you, all of you. I do just stop for a second, and I turn around, and I say, uh... This is going to be fine. I'm sure it's going to be fine. But under no circumstances, let them take me. Do whatever you have to do. Don't let them get me back. And I cast Intellect Fortress on myself. <laughs> okay. Absolutely, really, whatever you need. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here for you. Jeez, I'm, I'm sorry for whatever you had to deal with before. Usually when people yeah. say that everything's going to be fine, it's usually not fine. The I last mean, time you saw Freely here, he was a mind flare in that alleyway. Statistically speaking, we're due for something to work out, and I open the door. <laughs> you open the door to the end. Mm -hmm. And you see uh, just a bunch of red-faced tavern folk drinking. And there is a man in the very center of this very large inn waiting. Uh with several 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 drinks waiting and also food like bowls of soup and such alinda <laughs> you see through the illusion immediately and you see an elithid sitting at this table surrounded oh by all of these uh, village folk do i see anything weird about the food or the drink it's soup <laughs> Uh, I will ask. You're not in my head, Briz. <laughs> I will ask for an inside check that is not passive. He says that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, freely, like is gripping the hilt of his sword so loudly you can hear the leather creak. But he he does not he does not, he does not clear leather with it. It's just like Penelope. Penelope will put her hand on Freely's hand. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I mean, ten. Uh, I, what, what I'm looking for is to make sure that they didn't put anything in there, any creatures, any. No. Know. Okay. I, I do just look at Penelope and say, "How many miles have we crossed to be right back here again?" Hey, I mean, last time we were here, things turned out just fine. Remember, we became friends. You would have died last time, and you're not dead. That's you know what. Two, two wins, two wins. You guys are right. This is where it all started. You know what? I should be grateful to this place. And then I do just walk forward. <laughs> this man, uh... very elegantly dressed, who does appear to be an innkeeper with a shaved head and a, and a light beard, steps in front of you all as you walk in. Hello. You are very oh. welcome to the inn. Thanks. Hi. Where'd you come from? Thank you. Um, from here. I just wanted to let you know, being, uh, you look very heroic, all of you, uh, that you are completely safe here. Uh, That's an odd thing Riff? to state out, right? But okay. <laughs> Riff, and if you're, anyone, you're excellent I get it detecting. all the time. And if anyone uh, runs that safety, um, they will be escorted away. Alindra's right, Briv. You theoretically should know the if thing, that was the true. Thing, like, we all just slow rotated <laughs> Briv. I'm the sorry I was paying attention to the soup. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like damn good soup. Yeah. It's like a little bit chowder. I don't know if chowder's your thing. It's not my thing. It's my personal. If it's it doesn't thing, have beef in it, what's the point? 
Yeah, it's I'm, mainly beef with a little bit of soup then. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a chowder guy, but not brain chowder. Yeah. Wait, does the no soup change chowder. depending on what we're hoping it is? No, no, that's just the DM. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> they because that would be awesome. Rival. That would be awesome. Because mine would turn into blood. Ah, oh, mm. oh, blood soup. Blood soup. Uh, could get an abracadabra. Uh, grandma's a, recipe of blood soup. That is one hundred percent a delicacy in many, many places. I so mean, don't knock uh, it till you try it. It's uncooked blood pudding. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I had a lot of that. Uh, mm. yeah. Yep. Back in Scotland. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Whittle is not impressed with the soup. She's in this. This soup looks amazing. That's all she's going to say. And she's not going to eat any of it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, perhaps something else for you. And he snaps his fingers. And a floating bowl of blood comes over. Oh, she's too hungry to ask questions. <laughs> oh, no. No, no nothing, no, nothing nefarious here. You're no, she all... just devours it. Okay. <laughs> Do you slurp it with your fangs? She just like picks the bowl up and drinks it like out of a cup. Okay. Well, uh, I know that you have business to attend to, so go ahead. Who are you and why are you here? I've always been here. I'll always be here. I have Great, okay, bye-bye! Really cool. And I'm gonna, like, try to walk around him and get to the table that we need yep. to go to. You like, get to the table? You go to the yeah. table? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, there's, I like, we're already talking to the man at the no, table. No, no. No, no, no yeah. this is creepy this guy who's threatening still, us still by telling keeper. us we're... Yeah, yeah. So, let's just try to do this as quickly as possible. Agreed. All right. You sit, Do you sit down at the table? Um, hi. Are we here to see you? Really, is this who we're here to see? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, and Freely, give me a perception check because you're unique in this way. I'm unique in a lot of ways, sir. <laughs> you know? um, Todd, if it's relevant, I, I do want to remind you, I was also tapped into the, the Elder Brain for yeah. a while. Oh, so was I, but like, um, this can be Freely's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, just I, in case. I, I was not. Or down the line. Not for now. Yep. 19. Okay. Yeah, something's a bit off, but not in a, you know, draw your sword kind of way. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you can tell the illusion just kind of fades for you. And you can oh, see I... the illithid behind the table. I'm I'm aware of what this is. Um, do I feel like, you know, those of us that, you know, are, are connected to the elder brain, like we know each other intrinsically. Does is this is this entity in any way familiar to me? He looks identical to you. As an as you did as an illithid. Uh, <clears throat> I I wish I could say my mind flayer's rusty, but we all know it's not at all, so I'm just like hello and sit down. At the at the table in front of him. Hello, really. It's so good to see you again. <sighs> this time, my friends have accompanied me. I've been led to believe you have information I require. Ooh, friends, that must be really nice. It's better when they choose it for themselves. Ah, sorry, sorry, you guys. That's that's weird to exclude you. We're just, we uh, we go way back. Yeah, yeah, we we go way back. I, I agree with Freely. I I understand what you're saying. I learned that language. <laughs> but but could we perhaps converse in a language? I I, I can't do the voice better. I can't speak <laughs> very well. No, 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 <laughs> Yes, yeah, the back, the back of the throat. Yeah. It, not exclude <laughs> every cat. Is right? that what happens when one eats <sighs> this soup? I didn't have that, any soup. Yeah, that, that, that was an correct? excellent. The, the language is not designed for people with you know I, tongues. So yes. yeah, it, right. Yeah. Freely, you have become unfocused. <laughs> the cum? Oh, okay. 
You should become part of the fold again. But that's not why we're here. <laughs> Did you hear the, the sword leather creaking again? I'm like, ah, uh, no, no, um, <clears throat> you wouldn't be talking to me if there wasn't something in it for you. Well, then let's talk to everyone since everyone's so concerned. Out loud, not in here. <gasps> Hello! It's really great to meet all of you. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. <laughs> hey. I'm the well Elder met? Brain from Blutspur. Freely <laughs> used to be part of me, and he's still part of me. He always will be in some way or the uh, other. Wait, 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 wait how, are, how, are, yeah, how are you the Elder Brain? I thought the Elder Brain was this big squishy thing with the big thing and the, just the brain. Uh, I'm oh, talking just... through this vessel. Uh, the, ah. god, the god brain itself is here. Yes. Hmm. I see that you have elevated your status as well. I wonder if that's maybe something to do with me. Nope. Through, through the, the, the telepathic bond, I'm going to ask, and Frida, I thought you said this was an independent agent. I was hoping it was. And also, weren't we going to disguise ourselves? I no, don't we were... think it would have worked. No, I, I, th for that. I don't think it was disguise. I think it was not kill everything as soon as we saw. Oh. That. And then out loud again. Also, you know, he can probably still hear us. <gasps> okay, I haven't said anything that I... Yeah. Um, All right, what do you want? Yes, it's, uh, I realize your powers are grasped vast and mighty, but it's still no small thing to project yourself into another domain, so it must be important. I know, and that's why we want to have an accord with you, Freely. Because we trust you, and we know when you're lying. We know when you're not part of the fold. And we know that you don't want anyone to die. Very yeah. much squeezing Penelope's hand. <laughs> Probably much harder than I mean to. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, now that you've been threatening, what do you want? I'm not threatening. I offer... Um, peace, if you want it. But that's not why we're here. And everyone in the inn stands up. <gasps> really? <laughs> Just, we're talking, really? we're talking, we're talking. You had something for us. And, well, this isn't our place, uh, but we could use your assistance. Since you are the one who hid the sun sword, we only think it appropriate that you reclaim it for yourself. That's what we were looking for anyway, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. We know. Yeah, you, you, of course you know. Of course you know. Hey, so, um, counterpoint, counterpoint, um... We will retrieve the sword. We will use the sword to resolve some business of our own. Uh, and then maybe afterwards, uh, I leave it for you when we go back to our home and put this godforsaken place in the rearview mirror for the last time. What would I do with a sword? Why would I you limit got... myself, my grandeur, with a sword? Are you kidding? No, you can keep it. We don't care. We were only holding on to it for, you know... Uh, incidences, and this incidence has come about. Strahd has created one too many corruptions for us, for me, and he continues to do so. One of which is existing in the sewers, but behind, but underneath this very city. So I would like you to retrieve the sun sword and kill whatever is in the sewers, and when you kill. Strahd, you burn his laboratory to the ground, and any experiments you find of that devil are destroyed. Any paperwork of his corruption of the illithid kind is destroyed. I will not have him severing any more of us from us. 
And that's all we want. And we know we can trust you freely because you were good. You were kind before we acquired you. We know you won't lie. And in exchange for this, you stay away from all of us and leave us alone forever. Everyone in the inn sits down. Forever and ever, we will always leave your friends alone. And, and me. And freely. And you freely as well. Is it lying? No. I would like to see if it's lying, and I hold the ring up in its face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of connect to a god for a minute. <laughs> Big G, and is doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yeah the the the, yeah. El, the the elder the god brain is, is on, a, on a different frequency yeah <laughs> yeah you see Briv's eyes go black and you're a hundred percent sure it's not lying but you are adjusted a little bit you're like uh no <laughs> nope 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 Baby. it is not lying. It's the equivalent of Briv having to watch uh, avant-garde French films in the 19... <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Briv, you okay? Your, your eyes went black there for a second. Oh, my eyes just do that. It must be a side effect of this new ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice ring. Let's Did get you, on you. connect to a, a giant sea of undead? Um, That's what happened that in my eyes. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I think you'd be <laughs> aware. What were you saying, Penelope? Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out, hear me out. This sounds a little suspicious because you know what they say? You know what they say? They say, the enemy of my, wait, the, the enemy of my enemy, no, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? So, I mean, if these guys don't like Strahd so much, that means Strahd's doing something that's, that's good but bad to the Mind Flayers. So maybe he's like a necessary evil. So from what I could tell, is it sounds like that Strahd is creating uh, experiments that are severing mind flares from the Elder Brain. Yeah! So. But isn't that kind of good also? Well, it's independently different. Um. I turn and I look at Whittle and I say, Strahd hurts you when your friend and is blocking our way home, right? Yeah. And I turn back towards the man and extend my mechanical hand. Oh, good. I'm so glad that we can get along after all this time. Before you shake hands, hold on. Why can't one of you come with us? No! To kill Strahd. No! Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, uh, no? We'll be Why fine, not? Whittle. Don't, we do don't want. want to risk any more severing. We have made use of Strahd's previous experiments. You, um, some of them get out of control, though. But yes, you may notice a more vampiric strain of my kind. And I use them to great effect. I was able to control many of them, but not the ones in the sewers. And I use them to... But that's uh, what's in the sewers. Those we do not control. Originally, Strahd created this new illithid strain, but these we cannot control. Not How the many? ones that we use. How many are there? Lots. Now, we can provide some help, but we are not so effective. So we can attack from the side and distract many of them. But it won't be enough. Can you be more specific than lots? Mm, I estimate anywhere between 100 and 1,000 we could distract with the proper manipulation. But I expect you will be running into at least 20 such creatures. <sighs> Not so bad. You want this wait, wait, wait. Do you want us to destroy all thousand? No, 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 no. Our problem is mainly with Strahd. We want the Sun Sword in Freely's hands. We feel it is his destiny. But you said there's something in the sewers. The vampiric mind flares, yes. The ones we don't control. I control many vampiric mind flares, but these I cannot connect to for whatever reason. 
surprised you didn't just send them all to Mount Gristle with the other thought that works like experiments. I am trapped Elder in my domain. I am trapped in my domain. <sighs> I've just, never heard of an elder brain that can't control mind flayers, so. I just stand up from the table and uh, uh, I just look at it. I don't say anything. I turn and walk away. <laughs> walk out the door. He but grabs your you hand what? as you're leaving. Oh. Do, I will. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's pull this out first. Yeah. Uh-huh. No one's ever going to love you as much as we do. No one's ever going to care as much as we do. You'll always be alone without us. You won't hear our voice again. You know what, friends? Does everyone hear this? Penelope That's, like just... tropes. That's yeah. not something that you say to someone. That's just an immediate just... signal that someone should not be around Red you to say those things. Red flag 101. Penelope puts her hand on, on, on their connected hands and say, Hey! No! Nobody says that! Nobody says that to Freely, especially! You won't want to see me angry because I'm about to get angry! Penelope, he's just saying this, and I actually lean slightly closer to him because he's afraid, because the end is in sight. But don't worry about that for now, and I pull my hand back. <laughs> I will clean up your mess, and we will never speak again. Penelope, if you ever not, if you ever don't want to be alone, you can be with part of Freely forever. I grab her hand and I just say, you're already never going to be alone. Let's go, you all. Excellent! We have an accord! You are going to get the Sun Sword, you're going to kill Strahd for us, and then you're going to burn that laboratory to the ground. No, we're going to get the Sun Sword, we're going to kill Strahd for us. And you're going to burn the laboratory to the ground. Because it if just... you don't, there's no part of this world we won't find you. Come on, everyone. I and turn leave. my back on this thing and leave. I'm following freely. All right. Yep. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. Goodbye! Um, I would like to start going into my memories of our time in Avernus and anything I have learned about loopholes in contracts and loopholes in deals. <laughs> there was a upsetting amount of sincerity. There was also coercion. Yes. Uh... Also, also, all this Mind Flayer wanted was us to destroy everything there. Who's to say we can't read it first? And also, there was no stipulation on when. There was no stipulation on copying things. Nope. Or duplicating all, I, I, things. Well, there certainly was no stipulation, but uh, you would be able to speak to freely more what he thinks the Elder Brain may or may not feel is a breach of contract. But this is I'm, not the kind of contract that you would expect from a Burnus or with a devil. Like It doesn't it's matter. Not... I still learn dirty yeah. tricks. Oh, no, and, absolutely. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for. Is yeah. I, I have learned from the experience of dealing with people who throw loopholes and fine print and secret clauses into things. Absolutely. And that's what I'm going at here because but, I want to find any out I can find. Right, right. Okay. You, you can certainly do so, but uh, this is more of an emotional contract, I would say, less than a uh, logistical one with, with this creature. It is uh, intent, not uh, a devil contract or... Mm -hmm you know, legal document. I'm, I'm, when we get further away, I will, I will, I have things to say to them. However, important point of clarification, before now, Freely was actually kind of hazy on where he'd actually left it. Between being back here and being this close to the God brain, do I assume a certain amount of clarity has returned to where I left the sword? You felt an oppression, uh, an oppressive amount of pressure, almost like on your sane, you know, your sinus cavity, like you have a flu, mm -hmm. of it trying to get in. That pressure is completely alleviated, and you do feel all your memories return, and you know exactly in the sewers where you hit it. 
You see, Freely very much stiffens for a second because remembering everything is not a pleasant <laughs> proposition. It's just sort of like... I know that face. And I put my hand on Freely's shoulder. I was, uh, I, I was, I was with them for a long time. A long time. And it was, uh, the sealing away this secret is what brought enough of me to the surface to be able to meet you all here. I would have just stayed a drone. So art thou about to revert and we need to, like, put thee down, or...? No. no. Some, something else we need to go put down. Uh, Freely, the, uh, you do believe the Elder Brain means it. You're mm -hmm. out. Like, yeah, um, like, out of the mob out. As we're walking, since, again, I, as Freely said out loud, he, he still believes 100% that their thoughts are being monitored. Um, he just says out loud when we get, like, down into the sewers, the Elder Brain is sick. What? It's, it's... The, 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 the Alithids, the Mind Flayers, all of them across the plains, they're not all connected. They're hubs, groups around Elder Brains, and all of them are working to take over all the worlds everywhere on their own. And this one pushed too far and suffered from it for its, its hubris and its dying. And in the process of trying to save the rest of them, it was expelled and somehow ended up in the mist. Well, I know exactly how, because it is a horrific, horrific thing. And you're right, the fact that it wants Strahd removed is, does not, is not good for us, but that doesn't make Strahd good for us either. In, in unchecked, untethered, vampiric mind flayers, I gotta tell you, it's probably still not a positive. Whatever that was, at least it holds the leash. I have no idea what we're about to find down here. Well, all I know is this. We've already killed one elder brain. If this one gets in the way, we'll kill another. It might take another thousand years or ten but I can't tell you how much peace it gives me every single night knowing that someday, somewhere along the way, that thing will be nothing but a pile of gooey ashes, whether or not we get to it first. And it knows it. And like manhole cover, <laughs> the closest thing. And like literally just right at the top, just kind of like, <sighs> okay, all right, hey, time to go to work. No problem, I'm gonna go down here, kill some, uh, Strahd induced uh, vampiric mind flare monster, get a magic sword, finish off Strahd, you're gonna be home. Easy work, right? Light work, light work, light work, light work, and <laughs> start going. <laughs> and yeah, and, yep, just a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, here we are again. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna remind everybody, especially those of you that like to run off into danger, dying here is a really bad thing and I can't bring you back, okay? Just uh, like, this is your daily reminder don't die. Oh, Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Uh, you guys, so the vampires, uh, so these things were, it was, it was a theory during my time. Um, it can do all the mind flayer stuff. It can also do all the vampire stuff, but it also should have all the mind flayer weaknesses and also have all the vampire weaknesses. So we got okay. that going for us. And those would be in case anyone needs a refresher. Definitely not me, but I am sure that someone is not down. Um, uh, undead turning, uh, sunlight, and, uh, fire, and, yeah. <laughs> and then also swords to face. Like, you're very good at sword yeah. to face, bro. Yeah, no. no if, 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 someone, yeah, yeah. if someone was unclear on the mind flare weaknesses. Sword to face. Yeah, they're oh. kind of squishy if you can actually get to them. They do that, you know, boom, you know, but I mean. It, Obviously, it, it, they're I kind of They're kind of, they're kind of gooey if you actually can get up close to them. The hard part, oh, and they fly. Don't forget they fly. Keep an eye overhead, by the way. They do fly. Oh, and the vampire ones stick to walls. So, Whittle, maybe do the ceiling thing, or maybe don't do the ceiling thing, because I don't know that you want to be the one that finds it, like, with your face. Um, that's going to yeah, be all right. <laughs> like, yeah, you, it, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm part werewolf. 
<laughs> or something. So it okay. should be okay. I mean, I mean, this is an odd statement coming from me, but you do seem to be made out of a lot of disparate pieces, just kind of bolted together. Aren't we all? <laughs> that's uh, found family, right? That's that's found family. Yep. <laughs> Keep going down down the Sometimes ladder. Sometimes found bodies, even. I will say the moment I feel like I'm below ground, even if I haven't reached the sewer floor, I hit the divine sense again, like immediately. Like, I mean, if it's right at the bottom of the ladder, like I'm letting go and coming down on it. You know? What's the range? 60 feet. Yeah. Six, it, within 60 feet, there's nothing. <sighs> Good news. Not within 60 feet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cast another fall on everybody. Yep. Before, before we leave the manhole cover, how far do we got to go from here to get to the sword? Because um, the fact that there's potentially a thousand of these things means that at some point we are going to have to flee. We are not going to be able to kill all these things. So we want to make sure we've got an exit strategy. Uh, actually, hang on. Let me make sure I can even do this. Um... I just look at Alindra, and I'm like, uh, you can do light, right? Cost light, yes. Maybe drop it on the manhole cover. Make it really right. easy to spot if we're running for our Set lives. <laughs> um, I can also, um, depending how far away we are from here, um, set up an arcane gate. I mean, I would expect to beat a hasty exit. Does, can you put the gate up top? Out of the sewer? That's what I'm thinking, yes. I, I like hey, what you're thinking. Hey, wait a second. This place is full of nothing but ghosts. What's a vampire down here even eat? Oh, no. Hang on. It's rats. Uh, <gasps> it's just going to be really hungry. Oh, okay. okay. I, mean, I, I mean, isn't you that and I define, You and I define good very differently, but uh, <laughs> okay, okay, that's... uh. But it shouldn't be too hard to locate. So I, I, I mean, unless they're um, vegetarian vampires and there's rats down here, then you know at least there's some sustenance. N not enough to make them very strong, but there's something. Well, oh yeah, and don't expect to reason with it or anything. That as smart as the mind flayers are, that whatever the vampirism does to them, they're they're wild animals. That's what it was saying about them being unchecked. It's not like they just got free, like I got free, and now they just happen to be vampires. It's it's not not like that. Yeah, I get the sense they're just gonna try to eat us, so we'll defend <laughs> ourselves in our, uh, Arcane Gate. That sounds roughly, like fun. Roughly, how wide are these tunnels? Uh, they're quite wide. Uh, I would say. Uh, uh, they were wide enough I could fly down them when things got bad, so... Well, these aren't tunnels. These are uh, sewers. Sewers, yeah. Yeah, and uh, difficult for you to accurately fly. You can fly if given enough space, but if there are any creatures in your way, you can't. Uh, I, I just stagger ourselves because if it does its mind blast, it's a radius. And if we're if we're clumped up together, it will get us all, at least if we're spread out a bit we've got a chance yeah okay. i can also put up um that the invulnerability uh the protection from from magic um for spells at least i don't know that that'll work against the it's worth a shot though there's very... also staying within a couple of sword swings of me is beneficial to most of you. You also mm -hmm. cannot succumb to any fear if thou art within that radius. I mean, does it stop you from just being stunned and then your brain eaten? I mean, my presence kind of adds, you know, probably like four points to a yeah. check. But uh, other than that... Also, just random point these ones don't actually eat brains uh they just eat like your brain juice which brains floating around in so there's there's that um oh, so just spinal fluid. ah that, mm. yeah that yeah that's what Lovely. that's what they're into yeah so not blood brain juice i'm yeah. walking down the tunnel by the way <laughs> yeah hey, the rats yeah, yeah. that the penelope got are they following us i will say the swarm is still with penelope yes <laughs> awesome um 
So can I pick out number 59 again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. I'm gonna, can I also spider climb with it? Yes. Okay. I... Wait, are you using your bat? You can only use the bat once a day though. No, I can spider climb just as a. Oh no, 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 I thought you were going back into the bat form to pick it up. No, 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 like, just, just okay. me, just, just a regular old whittle with, just with grab, a, with just a rat. Just grabbing rat fifty nine. Yep, rat fifty nine <laughs> in my hand this time. <laughs> Ow. I would, I would like to, um, essentially, you know, as we are going, if there is any, um, you know, through the telepathic bond or whatever. Um, I would like to cast a spell, uh, be very prepared to cast a spell as soon as we start to get uh, what I would assume is close to danger. Uh, I need a specific on the spell. I, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what the spell is for sure. I'm going to cast Aura of Purity, but I'm not going to do it until I start to get closer to what looks like the bad side of the sewers. Gotcha. <laughs> the lower right. east side of the sewers, yeah. Yeah, freely you you lead everyone through the sewer, and there are um, stalactites and stalagmites of just ooze, ooze that have come from the streets, just kind of green and gross, kind of like in the uh, subways of New York. Um, if anyone's been there, there's some really creepy stuff there. So that you see a lot of like long tendrils of who knows how what. This, how is this even happening? Do ghosts go to the privy? Like I don't. Is this like? literally the ghost of poop freely you're the one who most knows about this domain so if you don't know then it is a mystery for the universe i mean i mean i just like spent a lot of time here i don't i mean i'm i just like okay yeah uh, okay dm since you said that i still have a swarm of rats on <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, the swarm of rats gets a, a it it gets a advantage on 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 perception checks that have to do with smell. So I'm just throwing that out there. If uh, there's some sort of connection, <laughs> and I also now have dark vision out 120 feet and true sight to 120 feet. Uh, Penelope, go ahead and roll a perception check. Yes. Advantage. Roll. Please be good. Oh no, it was almost an at twenty. Okay, never mind. It's a twelve. <laughs> yeah, you smell something foul down the way, <laughs> uh, almost fishy as you are moving a little fouler uh, <laughs> than whatever is floating by in the water at this moment. Uh, Press the digitation. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be casting it a lot. Uh, <laughs> You move through the water of the sewer and you keep... Uh, it's, by the way, only a foot deep, so very unlikely that anything is uh, hidden underneath, so... Oh, could... unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> Something but just brushed am... across my leg. Yeah. I was just imagining things, but don't worry. <laughs> I am keeping an ear and an eye and a nose uh, out for anything, because we're not trying to be stealthy about this, so I'm just... I'm waiting for the the, the rush. <laughs> It is at this moment, in the distance, far away from you, you just hear this sonic boom explosion. Far away, but it's almost like a blast wave that kind of comes over you and the water itself kind of rushes up to your knees and then flows back down. And freely, you expect that was whatever the uh, entity was just talking about. And then you hear screams just echoing of all these vampiric elithid mind flares and you hear the clamoring of claws on concrete and cobblestones They're moving away from you I'd like to cast my arcane eye and go see what's happening there uh, how far away can you cast arcane eye it, it's a concentration up to one hour. I can move it 30 feet every turn. And so if I use all of my actions to go, I can move. But I can okay. dash. Uh, is everyone going to stand no, by? 30, sorry, 30 feet in any direction on a turn. Penelope's going to look to freely. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while for the arcane eye to get there, but certainly. Still, still moving towards the sword, because if we're about to be beset by oncoming hordes of vampires, I would like a sun sword. So, yeah. Yeah. Keep moving. How much how much further is it, really? 
how much further do I feel like it is? Uh, I would say it's it's uh, probably another 500 feet through the sewers. I will go ahead and uh, cast Aura of Purity at this point then, and then I simply raise my sword up and it glows just slightly, and you see just a little pulse kind of go out and just spray a little bit of mist off of the sewage water um, onto everybody. And um, then I say, stay within 30 feet of me, and thou wilt uh, be protected from most of the abilities of these creatures. And so just where everybody uh, knows, you um, have uh, you can't become diseased, if you're within 30 feet, uh, you have resistance to poison damage, and then you have advantage on saving throws against being blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, and stunned. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Okay. For how long? It's going to last for 10 minutes with concentration. Really? <laughs> yeah. Are, are you just remembering where you put this thing, or do you know exactly where it is? Because I did pack locate object if we're that close if you want me to double check for you uh how certain am i of, of where i put it 100 percent. now i'm like no i it's uh unless it's been moved of course which will be a different set of problems uh no it's it's right up there okay and i go ahead and just like crack an elders an elders blast off down the hall like if something if something's within 120 feet it's about to get shot just <laughs> Uh, a Linda Yara K9 goes through a couple yeah. of corners and stuff like that. We'll say it just kind of weaves ahead while everyone's walking. You immediately just see all these vampiric mind flares, almost gray with teeth, not only on the inside of their tentacles, but on the outside of their tentacles as well. Hanging off the ceiling, hanging off the side of the walls, and those on the floor, and all of them chattering and sniffing at the air. It's terrifying. What? There are just mind flares everywhere with teeth everywhere and just all there. What are we going to do? And get the sword and get out of here. And when finish, they, finish when the they chatter, thing. you see the long sewer hall and all their tentacles reach out almost like there's just tentacles circling the entire tunnel. I don't know if that'll help, but I'm starting to worry about us, okay? So, okay, cast Pass Without Trace. Thank you. <laughs> we we meld down into we, the yeah. sewage water. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say we walk on top of it, but either way, yeah, it, both are equally terrifying. I lo honestly. love where both our heads go. But yeah. Yep. Like... Mm. yep. As Whittle feels yeah. this, um, she feels a little bit more, more stealthy. Um, she's still in spider climb form, um, holding rat number 59 in her hand she decides to name it Gerard okay. as she crawls down from the wall and she sits down on the ground with the rat and pets it a few times and lets it loose towards the direction of these mind players okay they are part of the swarm what does the I will say Mm, you have created a familiar like connection to this rat in your Are, friendship of it i Are, do or penelope does you you have oh. become intimately connected to rat 59 oh no Gerard. I mean, you named it. You named True. it. Yeah, it's named it. Like, is, this last, is this his last mission before he retires? You know, he's going to buy a yeah. boat with another rat. First and last mission. Yeah. Yeah. Is he getting too old for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this shit. You know. Danny Glover was like 42 at the time. <laughs> yeah, he literally was younger than I am. I mean, Murtaugh was 50, but he was younger than me when he was playing Murtaugh in Lethal Dead. It is for retiring. This shit, he was younger I'm than like, I am. Yeah, what? Right. <laughs> yeah, LA, LA cop. Sorry, Pain, Pain, another 30 years of Danny Glovering. Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, when uh, presumably Alindra reveals this, once the pass without trace goes off, double time, start running. All right. You start moving. You got to get to the sword. <laughs> like, uh, you get around I, the corner and you see the lithids. Uh, everyone make a stealth check. Do Plus we 10. have to go 
through this corridor of mind flares to get to where we're going. Surely you know it's the only way. And the, the entire time that you're going, you are still on right below street level, and you do see there are some people in Morden that are alive. Quote unquote. Hmm. Uh, but there are grates where you can actually see, smell the fresh air, and so close, just the outside world. And you can kind of see the dark clouds, and there's like vague, like moonlight trying to pierce through the clouds. Okay. I I, I just look back at them and I say, I I think, I think the God Brain is doing what it can to help. If he just wanted us dead, if it just wanted us dead, it could have done it. So I rolled a 15. You get that Fair. plus 10. Is the plus 10 the pass without a trace? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's I have 25. A, with pass yeah. without a trace, I have a 40. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Wait, where'd Frilly go? <laughs> he actually escaped Mordant. Like, it's true. <laughs> now the pass goes, pass without just, a trace, and he passes through just, the mists. It's all my clothes just hit the ground like I'll be one. It's been a long time since I've heard it. When did you learn the fairy mist? You walk by the dark powers and you pants them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you will never sleep again. Right. <laughs> worth it. Worth it. Worth the torment. Worth it. Uh, you go around the corner and no one got below a 13, correct? Nope. Uh, correct. No, even with disadvantage. 24 a... with Brit. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a 17, so with Penelope's 10, I got a 27. This is the stealthiest I've ever been. <laughs> you know, you have been, you've thought. been here before. You've been here before, so, you know. You... I'm trying not to think about that. Mm-hmm. You, you come around the corner, and you see the sewer extremely long. This is the main line, and you see exactly what Alindra saw, and you hear well, Alindra heard just this clicking noise, and all of these tentacles circling the entire tunnel, and they're almost moving like uh, like like the miniature hairs in your nose, or something like that. They're just moving in the wind, trying to smell anything sentient. Just your cilia blowing in the wind. <laughs> Could I? But they are not aware of you. If you do a mind The shadows you... kind of grow longer around all of you, thanks to Penelope. And moss kind of grows under your feet as you're walking. And a strange sweet smell that is very un... Uh, you know, mammal surrounds all of you, kind of cloaking your scent. You smell like kind of like I don't know, wet sap. Dog. <laughs> like what? I was going to say like wet dog. Like wet dog? <laughs> <don't> wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dealer's choice, what you smell like with uh, this particular version of the spell. And they're not aware of you. They don't react. Just keep moving. Do you start to walk amongst them? I do. Oh, we actually have to go I, actually, through, I, Okay. Yeah. I go, I actually, I just hold, do we still, presumably we still have our psychic link, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Freely, unintentionally whispers even in the psychic link. It's like, just, just let me go a little ahead. Um, and I, just like 10-ish feet ahead of them. <laughs> I do enter into the group or i mean i don't have to like physically walk on them right i mean it's like you have to scooch past their bodies they seem to be uh, their senses are dampened like their eyes are unblinking but their eyes really don't see in a normal way i mean I- Luckily enough, halflings literally are equipped to do this. So it's just like it's just like Catherine Zeta Jones in the, 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 the laser thing, crossing over these mind players. Yeah, trying trying to get trying to get to the destination. Yeah, mm-hmm. is Full is everyone camp. else gonna go, or is everyone else gonna wait for Freely? Uh, in the psychic link, Freely, how far from here is the sword? 
How you, far do we need to You've got about 300 feet to go through uh, it's, curving it's, tunnels. It's still a ways. I think you guys should try and make your way through. I just wanted to go first because if it was going to go bad, I wanted it to go bad on me. I'm go I'm not going to let him get any further than 30 feet away from me Same. before I start to go. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, yeah that's fine. Could, could we dimension door? You can't see that people? far. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I can't see to the other side of the, the creatures. I will I will let you okay. have an educated guess that opening up a dim dimension door might alert all these creatures to yeah. your presence. Okay. Yeah, it is. And I, I can even relay this in the site. It is not my goal to go alone. It is just my goal to, like, extend our vulnerability, you know? <laughs> like, if something happens, it doesn't happen to all of us. Yeah. Mm. All yeah. right. You, you do have to, all of you, brush up against these things. So you feel like a tentacle kind of like touch the side of your face where you have to, your arm touches the arm of the slimy vampiric mind flare as you push past it or a tentacle again slightly gently rests on your shoulder for a moment from the ceiling as you all of you start making your way through this kind of jungle and forest of tentacles and elephants Gerard where are you? <laughs> Gerard's making his way. Gerard's not overly concerned. He does not have an abundance of brains. <laughs> <laughs> and all I'm... of your rats, Penelope, are also being very quiet. <laughs> Sensing the tension in the room. <laughs> uh, I'm just very um, carefully moving, but I've got a hold of... Uh, the holy symbol of Ravenkind, and if I think things are gonna go bad, I'm gonna I'm I'm prepared to start turning and sunlighting and doing all the things. So if anyone gets attacked, I am ready. All right, you That's move it. another hundred feet. You start to be, you're starting to move around a kind of a corner that curves as you do so, and this is all familiar ground for you, Freely. And now you can't even see the way back. It's just elithids behind, elithids in front. And now I need everyone to make another stealth check. We're still under the effects? Yeah. Should yeah. be. Plus 10. Literally another 17, another 40. <laughs> a 15, but I rolled a nat 1. Oh. Uh, I got a 6, so with the plus 10, I got a 16. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> With disadvantage, I still got a dirty 20, so that's a 30 overall for Brett. Wow. I have an 18, 19. You move another 100 feet. <sighs> <laughs> Just like when, when like Whittle starts clanging and banging, I very much turn and look at her like... <laughs> Yeah, a little, how little I expect is on the ceiling. Right? <laughs> how are Briv and Orkira being more quiet than you? <laughs> it's all the muscles. She <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know. She's the meat hard. display is hard to control. <laughs> <laughs> at, yeah. at, at, the, at this point, then, if we are moving like this, Briv is going to go ahead and dismiss his he's going to pull the metal back inside his bones okay. um which means that i'm not going to have to be at disadvantage um while we're doing this part anyway but it does mean that i have to use a reaction to be re-armored if if that comes into play yeah it's um it is kind of uncomfortable uh i need as you are moving through everyone give me a dexterity saving throw is anyone within ten feet of Briv? Ooh, I got a nat twenty. I think I, I think I, I went, I went for, I'm, I'm like thirty feet as we established. I went a little ahead. So wait, does that mean that Whittle's getting two chaos rolls now because he had a yes. nat one and a nat twenty right in a row? Uh, <laughs> oh, not the no. chaos rolls. Yeah, um, not now. Yeah. I would have positioned myself in the middle of the group so that I could keep an eye out to. Uh, start turning if I need to. Would that put me within ten of Briv before I roll? I mean, it would because I'm trying to stay in the middle of the group as well because of our purity. I'm so. also close to Briv because we both have a thirty foot. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. that's what he has I, I, to I, do. 
I would have been away. I would have been a ways out, but I but I did. I rolled. I got a twenty-seven. I did all right. What does that give us? A plus four. Yeah. Yes, plus four. I so also got a nat twenty. And then, depending so... on the kind of effect here, Todd, just you know, uh, you don't have to spoil anything, but um, if the effect produces any of the following, people would also have advantage on that, which would be blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, or stunned. Okay. Well, I got a nat 20, which with Briv's funness gives me a 26. Nice. You continue to move through, but um, the, the terrifying thing, the, the fact that these tentacles are haphazardly covered in tiny little teeth all around them and hanging off the ceiling and the walls and everywhere else, those who saved only take six piercing damage. Those who do not take 12. And that is simply you butting up against these claws and them snagging on your skin and your clothes and digging in slightly, causing you to slightly bleed, like you're bumping into the hard corner of a wall. I, I just, um, I, in the psychic link, I'm like, Briv, no bleeding. And I lay on hands for six points. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, everybody, no bleeding. And you yeah. see a Whittle glance what? at Briv's arm, then quickly look away. <laughs> what was the save? <laughs> and look back at her own arm, and then quickly look away. <laughs> what was the save, Todd? Uh, it the number was... to be. Oh, yeah, 15. I apologize. In the psychic link, Orkira will say, I can't do anything about this without speaking. I'm like, Briv can. And I can too, if need be. We just have to touch thee. Did anyone fail? Does anyone need... No, I don't think anyone failed. Uh, yeah. You do feel like the tentacles kind of like quiver around anyone who's bleeding. Okay, Tell me honestly, you? who's afraid? I'm a little afraid. I mean, well, it, it, if you're are you it, asking our characters or our people? Characters, right. <laughs> you're immune to the frightened posi- uh, condition, condition if you're within ten f- uh, feet. Yeah. yeah, doesn't mean you don't feel fear. It means Rib you're immune to the frightened afraid. condition. Doesn't mean freely, like... freely is not afraid of fighting these things. He is. He is concerned that he won't get the sword like I mean he only like that's it's like he's just just got to get to the sword like we like this this. This will have a solution. Just got to get to the sword. <laughs> yeah, there seems to be the most kind of weird clattering and weird clicking of noises as Freely moves past them. And you, you again, you round another corner. And you move another hundred feet. And it feels like it's gone a little bit denser. And you keep pushing your way through all these bodies. And I need one last stealth check. Am I missing any chaos rolls, by the way? There's two. That, I haven't gotten any back yet. Yeah. I got a one in 20. Yeah, I, I, have, I have Orkira having one. I have Widow oh, having I mean, a I one mean in, in chat. Yeah, they, 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 they have, the results have not come through yet. Uh, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, th- just need to be at 13. Thank this you, Penelope. Just barely. This Thank time, you, Penelope. Oh. Yes. This, time, <laughs> this time was a 42. This time was a... <laughs> 32. Oh, this man. time was a 14 with Penelope. Oh, you God. asked if we were scared. Orkira is not scared of these creatures. Orkira is not scared of what we're doing. Orkira is terrified that she is going to mess this up for everybody. Aww. So thank you, Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back. Yeah. You MVP. finally see the end in sight and you push past this kind of jungle of mind flare tentacles. And freely, let me let me kind of pass the reins to you. In a room in the sewers, where would have you hidden a sword? Especially considering he would have been a mind flayer at the time. I actually think somewhere down here there is a headstone commemorating workers that were killed in a cave collapse to build the sewers untold years ago. And he would have moved the monument and put the sword behind the monument, thinking the humans are sentimental and they will never disturb this. <laughs> so he did. Excellent. I love it. <laughs> uh, you all push through the forest. 
and you get to this marker commemorate commemorating i can't just say that. there are certain words i just can't say <laughs> i'm new on this planet uh and what do you do Philly? it seems undisturbed i mean <laughs> that's a relative term it's an interesting mix of haste and fear i just sort of like motion for briv and i kind of like try to like slowly like <laughs> I need a slight of hand check. <laughs> yeah. So I just right before he does it, I just look at Briv and I'm like, "Hey, I believe in you." So Bardic Inspiration D8. <laughs> so, so at, at this though, like the, the sense is this is too heavy. Is that is, is that what just we're trying try to say? not to make a huge like got, kaboom? Got okay. Like I would just yeah. smite it if I wasn't worried. You know what I mean? Got I'm it. like, but all these things are around. So yeah, not not too heavy, but yeah. like you know, yeah. not a yeah, you know, it makes noise. Um. You know, the gods are with the lucky boy tonight. That's a 23. Yeah, you gently move it aside. And you see Donna's long pipe that you had established underneath this monument. You see the sword. The sword that you were cursed with. The one, the original sword that I was cursed with? Yes, missing its blade. In the psychic link, <laughs> uh, can can we mage hand that without yeah, making noise? I, I mage hand it with my with my artificial hand. I reach out to mage hand to like Jedi mind trick this back to my um, to the mechanical hand. You mage hand it slowly out of the pipe. And it's dimly glows, and you hear more chattering around all of you. <laughs> and do you put it in your hand? I do, but I don't do anything to turn it on. I just take it in my artificial hand because I've, I've, you know, I, I, it's not my first rodeo with this freaking hilt. And what hand do you hold it with? The mechanical hand, right hand, his 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 right hand that he lost to this sword. Um, <laughs> that's the hand he grabs it with. As you get it close to your arm, your arm against your volition opens up. Defina opens up. <laughs> the top of the wrist opens up and elevates and responds to the sword and creates a slot. You guys, I'm not doing that. You guys, I'm still whispering in our psychic connection, by the way. <laughs> hey, maybe instead of grabbing guys, it, like put it in a bag or something. You guys, I'm not doing that. It's just like doing a thing. I'm not making it do this thing. <laughs> and all these golden metal tendrils kind of ooze out of the hilt of the sword and start trying to grasp your arm, which seems to be made out of the exact same metal. They seem to want to join, and you have—you did not know that your arm was connected to this. This is the same tendrils that kind of reached into your bones and your skin before, but this feels safe. Like, I mean, Avrin made this arm. I mean, he had to know, right? He had to know. And it's like, oh, like kind of like, don't look at it because I'm like, not again. But I do like, just hold it out for whatever's about to happen. It has the satisfaction of the clicking of a seatbelt as it just <laughs> inserts into your wrist. I mean, I still and have a ignites. hand, right? It's like, it's like, oh, oh, it ignites. Oh, oh, yeah. as soon as, it's a big as soon blade as it... of sunlight. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead and roll as a soon... stealth check for me, Freely. I, as soon I, as it. Go ahead, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as it connects, I'd like to cast the the gate, please. Okay. And get us out of here. I will. I'll still give you the the stealth, but like when it ignites, I immediately jam my arm back in the tunnel. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, whoopsie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. One more time. And the goal with the gate is we make the portal, we step in. As soon as the last one's through, I, I end it. It's done. My assumption is that you did the ready action, quite frankly, with the, the dimension yeah. door. Well, I was going to say, it's not dimension door, it's arcane yeah. gate. And it's, yep. it's, I want to make sure, uh, I probably did not ready it, but it's only an action to cast it. But I didn't ready it because I didn't know what we were going to need. So okay. I had to be ready to do other things if we needed something He's else. Along presumably, the way. Pass Without Trace is still up, right? It's 10 minutes. Yep. 
That's 39. <laughs> yes. yeah. Alindra, do we know that you need to be the last person through the arcane gate? Uh, yeah, we, we we would have talked about what needs to happen. For that. And you okay. have a psychic link up. Yeah. yeah. Um, or Kira would want to be the second to last so that I could turn Before, anything coming our way. I will say when she starts doing this, I say, wait, 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 wait. Remember, there was one of them we had to kill down here. We what? did give our word and we're still here. There's one of them? Just the, one? one? No, the God brain. It was like there's a thing. There was one we had to kill that it could stop what? most of them. Why don't yeah. we leave this uh, kill box and start at an end <laughs> when we're not surrounded by them? I would really, like, there wasn't I would one like the, specific oh, one. They wanted oh. uh, casualties. Ah, ah, because that I would understand that. Um, I just say uh, I just stop for a second, and I'm like, okay, wait a second, Alindra, get the gate ready. Penelope, can you do one tidal wave before we go? We need to <laughs> adhere to the word of the deal. Otherwise, we may never get out of Mordant. I will allow everyone the surprise action. Yeah, I I, I, I think time-wise, it's like, you know, Alindra, three, two, one, and we're like, blam, 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 out. <laughs> everyone gets one action. Right. Let me know what it is. Yep. Let me see. All right. I mean, I you know, I say tidal wave. What I really mean is whatever your biggest, you know, damaging spell is. Um, I, I, I am going I to be, your so, so wait, we're, we're just surrounded by things. Is oh, yeah, you are now in a yeah. nexus of three tunnels, and they're all equally filled with that. Okay. Many mind players. So, yeah, I'm, ju I'm just going to Netherese explosion, I'm going to yeah. shoot metal out everywhere and then uh, hop into the portal. All do right. I feel do I feel like I could? Is there one close enough I could swing the sunblade at? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm just gonna know knowing that Alindra is opening the door. I'm just gonna try and take take the head off one of them. Full, if you want to do more than everything. one attack action, you can go ahead and do it. Just start rolling. Uh, right. Or Kara, what are you doing? I still want to be the second to last person to go. She's not gonna cast a spell because she's low on everything to keep uh, the death wards, but she will cast Turn Undead to make sure nobody follows. So okay. uh, uh, it's yeah. not gonna do damage. She's just still gonna close the door on the way out. Whittle, what are you, what are you doing? What, what are you I'm, casting? I think? I'm looking for Gerard so I can I can pick him up <laughs> and hold him away. <laughs> yeah, you've got Gerard. Um, Gerard's with you. Um, I'm also going to um, make sure that wherever I'm standing, I'm not standing within a 20 foot radius of my friends so that I can cast Cloud Kill. <laughs> Okay. And send that um, to the closest gathering of mind flayers I can see. Is that poison damage or is it acid? It's poison. Uh, you know enough about the... What? <laughs> hmm? Okay. Never mind. Um... Oh, 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 the multiversal magic? Something weird happened? No, 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 no. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just seeing right. something that is like kind of funny. That this is Speaking not of the I mean, wild it, magic, what? Whittle has been eyeing her own arm because it's had a little bit of blood on it for like the last 15 minutes. And she subtly turns around and licks the blood off of her arm. Uh, yeah. And everyone within 10, 10 feet, uh, if it, w everyone within 30 feet of Whittle suddenly is compelled to tell the complete truth. Uh, and all creatures. We have so many thirty of, uh, foot effects going on right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and anything trying to attack or care right now has disadvantage on their attack rolls. Nice. Can, oh. I, can I just ask real for the quick, next twenty four uh, hours? Oh. Can, can I just ask the damage on the uh, the sword itself? Because something amazing is about to happen. <laughs> I I go so. ahead and add sun sword to well, you a very specific sun sword uh, to your inventory if you don't mind. All right, I'll I'll just look it up real quick here. But yes, I I, I will. Uh, or sun su sun sword or sun blade? Technically, they're not the same. Oh, the sun sword. Wait, well, the sun sword is actually Sergey. Um, it's Sergey's sword. Sergey von Sar. Ah, right, yeah. right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So, uh, Whittle, tell me how you cast Cloud Kill. So you, you see Whittle 
with a subtle formation of clouds in her left hand, and she finishes licking the blood off of her right arm, and then suddenly snaps back to what she was doing before. And uh, you see a huge, dark cloud just sort of emulate from her hands down this sewer towards the largest group uh, within 20 feet of vampiric mind flayers. And the uh, the radius is 20 feet, okay, and the gotcha. damage is also 20. Okay. And you see this cloud kind of move through one of the tunnels, and you just hear screeching and bubbling skin and the tentacles. Some tentacles even fall off of their vampiric mind flayers at this moment. Uh, who's next for the spell that they're casting, if they're casting one? Uh, Brev, Brev can go ahead um, yeah, because go this ahead. is really the only um, area oriented thing he has and so yeah, he just go ahead. Shard, shards of metal in every direction it's uh, going to be a, a dexterity saving throw of 17 or they take 32 points of damage half on a save how much? Uh, 32 points of damage half that on a successful save so everything that's even like uh, the out of all the tunnels, every like what's already being kind of melted away by the cloud kill, that section of the tunnel is completely obliterated by all the metal. And your metal even kind of pings off the brick around the sewer and ricochets and bounces around. Everything just kind of gets blended within kind of like a 10 foot radius uh, outside of your bubble. And all those shards kind of pop back into you as you just kind of fillet all of these vampiric mind flares. Who would like to go next? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you think? So I got a natural 20 on my first thing. <laughs> hey, that explains that number. Hmm. Yeah, a lot happens. Uh, you see flames erupt up his arm that are both a mixture of green and red now that look very similar to what you saw him do um, uh, in Loki's in Loki's palace against the giant. But when he slashes into this mind flare that somewhere in the depths of his mind he recognizes that didn't used to always be this way, there is a brilliant flash of golden light that you've never seen him do before. And it just erupts, just utterly disintegrates because I hit this thing for 146 points of damage. <laughs> for 146 Dang. points of damage, you hit six. <laughs> i'm like there's your casualties can we go now <laughs> you just like like butter you just like hack like a machete through the yep. jungle you just go and all these mind flare parts just drop to the ground around you In a and strange... it's almost blinding to everyone around you you've never seen this and there's this almost like infinity gauntlet gauntlet like sound as freely charges up his fist with this sunblade. And I realize deep inside, even though I don't want to admit it, even to myself, I'm disgusted by these things because the com the illithid sensibility that these are abominations isn't completely gone. It's not just these are monsters. Like, no, these are wrong. <laughs> and that's a 20 that I guess we can bank for uh, wild magic for next week. <laughs> Penelope, I find what do you cast? Well, Penelope's going to look over at Akira, kind of asking permission. And Penelope looks down a tunnel, probably that has, you know, not had as much happen. And she kind of gets into like a horse stance and she hits her, her feet on the ground and she kind of pulls the heat from the ground as she casts Wall of Fire down the tunnel. All right, roll me <laughs> damage. It's a one tunnel... So Freely goes to one, like, there's this Netherese explosion that just kind of decimates everything and just, like, shrapnel, like, buckshot coming out of Briv's steel marrow. Another tunnel is filled with this dark cloud that Whittle has cast that is just moving through the tunnel, melting elithids with acid and poison damage. And then we have a wall of fire that suddenly explodes <laughs> through one of the other tunnels. And we have the tunnel where Freely just cut like butter through several lithids, I almost, I imagine in a circle, just hitting head after head after head in a, in a circle. When I realize I've spread them like butter, I just yell out, that was for Sophia's! Yeah! Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it's my girl! Yeah. Hmm. 
What's your uh, wall of fire damage? Eh, it's horrible. The twenty three points fire damage. The fire damage. Yeah, but how long it counts. Is it? It's like yeah, yeah. But... It's it's quite long. There's a smell in the room. <laughs> <laughs> and it's anything like within ten feet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is on fire now, and they're all screeching. And now they're like running towards you. But the ones who hit the wall of fire just kind of instantly turn into ash, and you just find a skeleton just melting like the end of gremlins, just like trying to move but they're dead and they're just, just giving up their last gasp. Like, and Alindra, what are you doing? I'm casting the gate. You mm -hmm. open the gate. And how do you open uh, an arcane gate? Uh, it, it just sort of appears and you can only enter from one side. I, I imagine it like a flat, uh, almost a, an invisible flat disc that you can see into it from as a portal, but if you move to the side, it disappears. Okay. Uh, and so what you can see through it as it swirls is right above the entrance uh, to the the sewers where we had come in. Uh, All right. Just the very alleyway where you met freely in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, hurry. All right, you see this arcane gate open up and all of these vampiric mind flayers are trying to attack you now. Moving through the clouds, they come out poisoned and sickly and they can't really cough but they look really gross and they have like pustules all over their bodies the ones are trying to pass through the wall of fire are just being singed to ash and the other ones are completely uh terrified of the light coming off of freely's blade at this moment who's the first one to go through the gate i would just say i would say for when alindra does this and we all know we're supposed to leave but alindra you would know like he's not moving like he's just standing there like <sighs> Um, and what is your DC turn undead? Or oh, um, 20. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, yes. Oh, I forgot to mention a while it's, back. I got is this blessed. safe? I, I got blessed by a couple of gods. So, yeah. Wow. Is this a safe, Todd? Uh, what, 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 for what? Again? Uh, this is this is my turn on dead, so it's a big. Making, they have to save against it, yeah. but it's going to yeah. be a whole bunch of individuals, so don't worry okay. about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, yeah. But so, yeah, any anything within thirty feet, and I'm I'm waiting until um the last moment to try to make sure none of them can follow us through the gate. The horrifying thing, at least to these elithas is that they make it some of them make it through the wall of fire some of them make it through the cloud kill some of them make it through this the horrible blade action that is going on with freely and also uh they just get stopped like they're almost floating in midair as they hit the turn in dead radius of orkira and they and have to held run. at bay nope they gotta run and they, they don't get run held. They gotta into run away. The cloud, the uh, cloud kill. They run back into the wall of fire, and some of them run back into Fre Freely's blade. And you all are able to run through the it's the arcane preferable gate. To what and if, if on the other side. Freely, are you just not going? Like her it's it, it just for a split second it seems like he's not going to. And I would say, Alindra, you would hear me say, just sort of under my breath, abominations. <laughs> And if Briv needs to, to go. he's gonna he's gonna yeah. scoop him up and run through. Yeah. When, it, when, like, when anybody like even remotely snow, remember the plan. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. They all hiss at you freely. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, enough hissing, more running. Come on, come right. on. All right, everyone passes through yeah. the dimension. That I mean the arcane gate. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. All pile through the arcane gate, and you are met with like dim white light all around you as our king gate closes and you can still smell the burning scent of a lithid around you are and but are there any i'm looking no <laughs> okay they're held at bay and you are in the sewer bathed in moonlight moonlight how long were we down here for ah uh... We should probably get out of here. I don't know how much longer that's going to hold them. Yeah. Briv doesn't say anything, um, which is unusual. And he just nods it freely and put puts the fist out. <laughs> <laughs> and start climbing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're in the alleyway. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We, oh, we're, we're safe. We're out. Sending okay. in the right. exact location right. everyone had met you before. Yeah. And Can that's when Whittle starts growing. 
several feet. <laughs> and her nails pop out as claws replace them. Hair grows out of all of her pores and her jaw becomes immense. It should have been me. As oh, she turns I mean, into a Luguru. <laughs> at, least, at least you didn't do that when we were surrounded by vampires. And howls at the moon. <laughs> and Freely, what's the last thing you would like to say? Brave, I think you still might get a shot at this. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> And that's our adventure, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Heroes of the Plains. Uh, let's go around the room. This was just a wonderful adventure. I cannot believe you got through that without uh, failure. And thank, you, thank you, that Penelope. Was, thank you, Penelope. Thank you, Penelope. But I, I swear that was the hottest I've, I've ever... I rolled two 17s and 18 and a 20. That was four dice rolls in a row. The well, only much, reason yeah. we made it was because yep. without that, I would have had a four on one of those. So, well, yep. to, our, to our MVP, Hope Lavelle, tell us about you. Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle to keep up with all the stuff I'm doing. If you want to listen to me play some more D and D, there is a podcast called Attackers of Opportunity. You can find anywhere you can find podcasts. A really fun D and D show. Uh, super big announcement. I will be guesting on D4 on Sunday. Hey! hey. You'll get I to see. I was wondering who it was. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I was wondering tell them who all it freely. Too. Tell them freely. Said hi. We'll do. You'll be. You'll. You should check it out because you'll get to see a very, very different type of Penelope, a very alternate style of Penelope. It's going to be very, very cool. A um, variant Penelope. Yes, Never a ever. variant <laughs> Penelope, indeed. <laughs> Neverariant. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna drink out my TVA mug. Right. That's nice. That's so or Kara's gonna have so many questions. But first, hugs. Lots of hugs. Uh, B. Dave Walters, as you have come full circle. You know, uh, you guys, I'll tell you this about Todd. He's very, like, caring and concerning on the back end. Of, like, you know, what, what, is there anything you, you want for your character? Is there any arc? And one thing I very embraced, the thing I've embraced about Freely from the very beginning, he is not a guy with a plan. He is a dog chasing a car. That is, like, he's just stimulus response. Uh, but as of tonight, I've now discovered there was at least one thing I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Was to do 148 damage, and, and it's a it's a sunblade. Yeah, that's there. That also that was my first Eldritch Smite. He can do that now. So there you go. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. B. Dave Walters. I do this this thing you just saw. I, I was all over D and D Live last weekend. If you didn't get to see that, uh, the vods are up. Uh, Black Dice Society tomorrow Thursday at four. Uh, Gary Khan. This weekend, Sunday, I think, is our game. And I'm sure I'm forgetting something. So just follow me on the Tweetograms at B. Dave Walters. I kind of love my new, like, kind of, like, happily cursed sword. I don't know him for it. <laughs> and Lauren Urban. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I, you can find me on Twitter as Obo Lauren. You can find me doing Idol Champions things all over the place, especially the next three days. Come by the CNE Games Twitch. I'll be on there a lot. Also... Hey, not a surprise. I will be on D4 this Sunday <laughs> with the Hope Lavelle. And, uh, so that's the Rock Punch ETL channel at four o'clock Pacific. And yay. Uh, Adam Bradford. I am Adam Bradford and I am the CDO at Dem Demi Plane. And I'm also an action figure collector extraordinaire. Uh, and I'm, I'm starting to get uh, a little more involved in that on the interwebs. You can catch me on Twitter at Bad Eye Adam. Ooh, I like that one, Todd. Nicely okay. done. Uh, Jen Kretschmer. Hello, I am Jen Kretschmer. Um, you can find me on Twitter as at DreamWisp. You can find me streaming on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen. Um, I am one of the authors of Candle Keep Mysteries. Um, I am the creator of the Accessibility in t in Gaming Resource Guide, which you can find on my pinned tweet. Tomorrow, I have uh, we're doing uh, Vampire the Nightlife on Play Renegade, uh, where I play a very, very different character. Um, and I have other things coming up. I will be away though this weekend. I'm going. I'm disappearing for my birthday. So that's going to happen. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll be back. And uh, exciting stuff coming up uh, soon. And speaking of birthdays this weekend, I believe uh, Megan Kenrick has a birthday this weekend as well. Yay. So happy birthday to the love of my happy life. And okay, wait, friend no, on the planet. No. 
now we have to do it because Synergy, you know, trying to uh, harmonize is a train wreck. Mm -hmm. But now we're here, there's oh, two of you. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no